Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about a brief overview of this ng class built in directive. So you already know about this ng class directive. We have already covered some couple of topics in this one. So we'll try to have a quick overview for this one. So why we use this ng class directive is so in order to add or remove the multiple CSS class simultaneously, we will be using this ng class directive. So what is the use of this ng class directive? So now, for example, let's say that in which way we can use this ng class directive is so here you will be able to see a sample example. So there are different ways which you can use this ng class directive. So I will try to show you some examples here and here, for example, let's say that here we are having an author, right? If you go here and if you try to see the output, so local host 4200, 4200, if you try to press enter and here we will be, we are able to see some couple of uh, things. So here this is our author, we are having this author, right? So now I want to apply some class to this one. So right now we don't have any class appended to this author, so which is in the app iPhone author. So if I want to add some couple of classes to this one, so what I can do here, so here we can use something like class is equal to is active, okay, is active. Now if you try to see the output here, Let's try to see the output. So if it refreshes, so let's refresh this one. So here you'll be able to see the class as active. Now why it is happening? Why it is slow? So it is slow. I don't know. Let it generate. Yeah, it has generated. Now if you try to see the output here, we are able to see class is active has been applied to this one. Now I want to tell you another one is for example, this is active is to be applied conditionally. If I want to make it as a conditionally, that means nothing but in other component.ts. So we have a variable in such a way that is active. Okay, is active. This is of type boolean and this should be true. Or otherwise, let's say that uh, is active. This is a class of type string and this should be is hyphen active. Okay, this is the class I want to append it. Now, this is a variable through the variable I want to append this one. So how can I append this one is for example if you go to the author.component.html and here if I want to apply this one is so here we can, instead of using this class we need to use the ng class ng class and ng class if you try to see here we will be using something like directly you can use the sorry is active variable directly you can use it whenever you are trying to use this is active as a variable then we need to make it with this we we need to uh, uh, add it with a square bracket like this so that means is active will be taken it as a variable now if you try to see the output then also we are able to see that is active has been applied to this one now if i want to apply only the class name means the, for this by applying this uh, square bracket if you want to take it as a variable or not as a variable means then what i need to do is i need to keep it as a single quotes here now is active directly it will be applied if you try to see here is active is directly applied so is a capital is there right so like this it will be applied so this is one way now ng class we can do it in couple of ways for example let's say that uh, we can add it as a string so we have seen with a string notation and we can also give it as an array notation also that means if you are having couple of uh, classes and if you want to give the couple of classes to this one so here i can create an array and here I can add is active and I can add an A. So these are the classes names. Let's assume A, B, C like this classes names also you can use. Now these four classes will be applied automatically. Now if you try to see here for this one, see active comma A comma B comma C. No, not like this. See class active space A space B space C. You are able to see it. So like this we can able to apply the cl multiple classes using the array. Not only with the array, you can also apply it with the object also. Now you are able to see like this array, right? Not only with like this array, we can also give like an object notation also. For example, let's say that I want to apply is active class when it is true. So this true can be variable. And here I want to apply the A when it is true. And if I want to apply the B when it is true. So that means here I'm having a three classes. I'm making it as a true when need to apply. So if true means these classes will be applied. If it is false means then the class will not be applied. If you try to see the output here, is active a b has been applied. 
now if you try if i try to remove this one if i if i try to make it as a false then this will not be applied here see c will not b will not be applied only the e is active a is applied this is how the ng class will be applied so not not only like this we can also use the method also is mm, get active classes like this i can uh, i can have a method and this method we can call it here so we can use it here like get class get active classes and here i can return the data something like return is active okay so i can return the array i can return the array now why why to here i can return is active like this i can return it so this this is also we can return so now if i try to show you that so now is active only class will be applied for this one so like this also you can use it so anything expression also you can use and every anything anything whichever you want it you can use for this one so why it is not applied why why what what is wrong we have did it mm. so here i am using the get active classes right so let's try to use it like this yeah fine now we will be able to get it so here if you try to see the output yeah here i am able to see the class is active so this is how we will be using now if you see in this angular built in directive in the latest angular we have able to see that if you want to add or remove a single class we can use the class binding they are saying instead of ng class so class binding is the latest one which is introduced in angular 13 or something like that so if you want to apply a single class you can use it like this for example let's say that i want to apply only a single class so that means is active class or active class i want to apply instead of using this ng class like this ng class sorry ng class is equal to um, if i want to apply is active like this no, or otherwise active active class if i want to apply active only the active class i am using it as a string so if i want to apply it like this single class we are trying to apply right so active will be applied to this variable but the for that element if you are applying a single class means instead of this one you can use this one also you are saying so that means class dot active you can use like a dot active notation and you can keep it true so whatever the variable also you can use it now if i try to see the output then also it will be able to apply and not only like this in the angular they also represent that we can also bind the multiple css classes it is trying to say so class expression you can also use the array type of notation like array this is a single one array type of class expression means calling this one like a function and all those things also you can call it and also here you can use the array type of notation object type of notation these all the these all the things they are trying to explain us so for example let's say that if i want to apply like this so here i can use in such a way that class okay is equal to i will apply this one as an array a comma b comma c i am applying three classes using the class this one whether it will be able to apply it or not let's try to see it now if you see here a b c has been applied we'll try to see the same thing we'll try to achieve it using the ng class whether this one works or not ng class a b c i am using the same thing ng class i will use the name ng class like this and let's see the output whether it will be applying same same or not so if you try to see here a b c has been applied and class a b c has been applied without any problem so that means is working both fine and fine but the main difference between these two is when you are trying to apply object notation so here if i try to use a true and b true and also c true if i try to apply like this and here if you copy this one and if you paste this one here and now see the difference not now here also now also one by one in the same only it will come now if you see here a b c has been applied and here also a b c has been applied now let's say that for some reason i want to apply a and x here so i am using space x like this and for this one also i will be using a space x so that means both the classes should be applied when it is true so in the class i am using a space x and in the ng class i am using a space x now this a space x will be applied or not we'll try to see it now if you see here the output let's refresh this page if you observe here the ng class whatever the ng class we have used it now a x b c has been applied but when you are trying to use the class attribute a b c is only applied that means a x has been excluded here a x has been excluded this is the difference i have found in the class and the ng class if you found any any difference other than this one means please let me know in the comments so we will so that all the people can know and me also can know 
so here we are able to we are not able to see the ax and a and also x class that has been applied when we are trying to use it with a class attribute and also there are so there may be some differences so this is the major difference that is the reason when you are trying to bind a single class means it's better to use the class attribute or otherwise all the times it will be uh, reasonable or it will be okay for us to use the ng class attribute only so this is the difference between ng class and class and uh, what i will try to do is i will create a new branch for this one this is all about this one and here i will create a video hyphen 11 okay and i will commit this all the code ng class and class attribute ng class class attribute or we can also say direct to now i am committing this all the code i'll publish this branch also whoever may be having a doubts and all those things so they can go to my github repository url so all the in all the video i am trying to tell you so that you can people be able able to understand so here angular animations this is the code whoever may be having doubts in the particular video they can go to this they can go to this particular video branch and they can uh, check the code the github repository url is provided in the description below you can take a look at it this is all about the ng class and class attribute uh, directives if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you